Uh, can you tell me how frustrated are you that the Liberals have never done in the past nearly nine years what you did as Minister and fight the ABC's blatant left-wing bias? Andrew, look, it's, uh, it is very frustrating, but the political reality is that you never, you very rarely have control of the Senate. And even then, you need to do something like that in the first year. I mean, we we set up um, Bob Mansfield to do an inquiry to the ABC in year one. Maybe it helped a bit, but at least, you know, if you can appoint someone reasonably impartial to find problems. But the reality is the ABC is not interested in, in complying with their statutory obligations. They, they have no compunction about basically waging non-stop war against a Liberal government, or well, basically all governments. I mean, that tingle is an absolute disgrace. I mean, abusive position. She's there as a chairman of the press club to represent a wide spectrum of views in the media. And yet what we got was this self-indulgent rant. And that's that epitomises the problem, that they, they don't see any need to accommodate their viewers or to... Um, respond sensibly to government criticism. You have regulators like ACMA find them guilty and they just say, well, we just don't accept that finding. You remember the, the Luna Park fiasco. Um, they appointed two independent people. They came back with a damning report and the ABC response was, well, sorry, we, we don't accept that. So they're a law unto themselves. They get unlimited. They get funding of over a billion dollars, um, and they just feel free to in, to indulge themselves the way that she does. You know, they pretend that but somehow they're holding something, government you know, to account. I'm, uh, well, holding the Liberals, uh, you know, putting them, absolutely smashing them and giving a, a soft pass to the Greens. But listen, I want yeah. to pick up on something. You said it's got to be done in the first year. But this actually underlines the problem. It's got to be done in its first year, as I understand you, because if it gets too close to the election, the ABC will come and punish you for it. It will misuse its power to get you back. Isn't that the case? Absolutely. And in a lead-up to an election, and most elections are close, everyone gets very nervous. And they say, well, why on earth do we want to get the ABC off, even more offside, if that's possible? Uh, so they cave. And... I'd go along with the same thing. I wouldn't be wanting to declare uh, a nuclear war on them in the, in the final year of a government. But uh, to do things in year one is very different. And um, I think what's really needed here is a review of the funding of all media by government. And um, I think there's a, there's a case to be made for looking at what happens with the BBC. They've been pretty sensible about a lot of these things. They've now got a, a, a guy who's a, an, a BBC lifer, but he's he's middle of the road and he wants to make sure that they, they don't tweet outrageously, that they uh, don't sully the reputation of the BBC. It's quite the opposite here. I mean, Tingle accused Morrison of ideological bastardry, what, about 15 months ago, and she was never reprimanded, um, just business as usual. And as we saw the other night, she, she doesn't uh, feel the need to even play the, the proper game. But Richard Olsen, um, you say it's got to be done in its first year. The Liberals in their uh, nearly nine, well, eight and a half years in power have had three of those first years. Three times it's won an election. Three times they had that first year opportunity to do something. They did nothing. And then they did nothing. And then they did nothing. The thing is... The Liberals lack guts or ideological conviction. What is what is holding them back from doing something about the ABC? You said, oh, well, you need to control of the Senate, but you didn't need control of the Senate to actually lodge official complaints to the ABC about bias or simply go on the TV and talk about it. Yeah. Well, look, I, I have uh, quite a bit of sympathy for that view, but um, the reality is that um, you, you either need to needs to be a debate about funding or it needs to be a debate about holding them accountable. And most of these things will require legislation and if you don't have control of the Senate, you're almost on a hiding to nothing. But as you say, that shouldn't stop you from uh, returning fire uh, because 
almost on a daily basis they're offensive, but you almost need a, a minister for the ABC or someone with special responsibility for <laughs> tracking them. <laughs> Yeah, Richard Alston, um, I wish we could perhaps uh, tempt you to come back and do it because as far as I can tell, you've been the uh, only communications minister in all that time to actually take them on. Good on you. Thank you so much for coming on the show.